five, no, four thirty-five a.m. Because me and Yannicka have decided to express a delirious consumerism and go to the Lazy Oaf sample sale. It only starts at ten a.m., but we need to be there early if we want to get in here. Apparently. Um, I, I, I thought I ordered a ta taxi, taxi, for 5.30. I, I can't check the order, so it might be that I fucked up and John is coming over like a fucking hero at 5 a.m. Or John fucked up and he's half an hour early because we wanted to be there at 6, so we wanted to leave at 5.30. It's almost like 5 and the little counter thing says that he'll be here in 9 minutes. So, um, our plans changed a tiny bit, but, um, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good in the neighborhood. <laughs> when you remember the neighborhood is, has deep running socioeconomic <laughs> problems. <laughs> Memes! Everything I own smells like tea tree oil, and I'm not entirely sure why. John is on his way, so we gotta be downstairs, and you ain't wearing shoes. I'm working on it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. And I'm really terrified of forgetting something. I've packed tremendously badly because I've been sleep deprived and busy this entire week. Um, but you know what? I'm so fucking excited for lazy old, for hanging out in London with my best bud, oh, for fucking Hamilton. <laughs> Alternatively, <laughs> trademark. <laughs> it's exciting. Um, now we just need to wait for four hours. That'll be fun. Um, I was thinking that I would take around a, a, a walk around um, the block and see if I can find some coffee. Yeah, I suppose we can wait here. <laughs> and then we can change position. Clothes, I mean, <laughs> costumes. I'll, I'll see you. Goodbye. I'm surprisingly awake despite going to bed quite late last night because uh, it finished time, it's already 7 a.m. Or like 5 a.m. would be 7 a.m. And I usually get up around 5 or six so i feel i can't say like awake but okay like not like i'm clearly a little tired <laughs> but not too bad everything is closed i swear to god everything what is this country what kind of a city is this that doesn't have morning coffee at 5 a.m <laughs> right there that could be open maybe or not haha <laughs> fucking victory I'm a genius we have a nitty on our case needs to be sorted out we have a what now in the where now I'm so confused feasting like kings today quick update I'm officially cold and they've broken out grease and in an inevitability. It's very cinematic, like <laughs> this framing. <laughs> I am an artist, <laughs> truly. I got so cold that I came here into a costa. Do you do you love having the camera this close to my face? Do you enjoy it? Do you like it? You better like it. I came here into a costa. I'm just gonna warm myself up and. Uh, read a little whilst Yannicka lines up for us because I'm so cold I'm not wearing pants it's been fun like I mean it's already 8 a.m. so we've been here for three hours 
or not quite, it's two and a half hours. And um, it doesn't feel overwhelming, it's fine. Are you going in? Oh, wow, I was just about to say that it's already past 10. This is orderly, this is not like from the Korean film that I saw. <laughs> where they were rushing in to get those collector's items. Things. I got a lot of things, but they're cool things. I'm going to show them to you later. Yeah. It was really good that we were early. Like see, When we left, we were there for like an hour and 15 minutes maybe. When we left, there was still a, a line like around the block. Yeah. So we would have had to, if we came here at 10, I don't know if we would have um, made it in before we had to leave for yeah. Hamilton. Um, we're just talking about with this one how everybody was so nice like mm -hmm. like um, oh, there was a minimum amount of like shopping and not on purpose like yeah. accidental obviously because it's a small space and a lot of people in it and like literally people like people would like tell you when you were trying things on like, you'd be like it looks so nice and you could like because I mean people like lazy oak and it's mm -hmm. although communities based around like consumerism can be prob seen as problematic at least it's a nice brand like I mean, I'll take what I can get True. and like everyone was so nice and like literally like you would think that it would be like a high competition for everyone to get whatever but like I was looking for something and this girl who I didn't even know came out and asked me if um, if she could like if uh, if I was looking for something specific and uh, I explained to her what I was looking for she was like I I don't know I'm not sure what she's talking about but I'll keep an eye out for you like she was literally while searching for her own stuff she was like looking for things for other people as well it was so nice yeah um, and I also met uh, a youtuber that I watch and who does a lot of lazy old balls yeah it was nice yeah. I mean, getting up early was definitely worth it. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna go back to our Airbnb to leave our stuff and change our clothes, and then we're gonna go have lunch, maybe walk around a little, and then it's time real to at the Airbnb our hosts apparently left for like a vacation or something like they're not here like Janneke said I guess if if we dropped them they would know who we are because our passports are connected to our Airbnb account so we're gonna change into our fancy theater clo going clothes and then we're gonna mm, go have lunch around the theater and then I don't know what because I don't think that'll take that long it's almost 12 already it's a day showing, so yay. I can't do this. Like, I seriously cannot. Can you Google real quick where one can find a fucking Meghan Markle mug? This became a very dramatic island, I don't know. film so far there's like a really bright light behind yeah. me um, we're here we were almost late we haven't eaten but we have snacks <laughs> which I usually never do in a theater I never buy anything to eat because I feel like it's I just don't like to do that but now we gotta eat something so we're gonna eat crisps and candy and Maltesers <laughs> which are also candy but I'm gonna cry man I'm gonna cry I I'm looking at the stage right now and it's so cool and it has the turntable thing and I, I can't I can't I can't me neither um, we met 
Hercules Mulligan <laughs> and the king whose names are she knows. Uh, I don't know the king, but uh, Hercules Mulligan was Turin. What's his last name? Me and Turin, whose last name we can't remember, agreed that I will be on the show. He didn't see me perform or anything, but I mean, he was all for it, so I feel like that's a promise. <laughs> He like, yeah, he was so nice. Like, I obviously I understand that not everybody wants to like chat with you for minutes and minutes and minutes. Yeah. And the king was uh, nice enough, but um, he was so nice. Like, he would um, chat with us and he would hug us. And like, yeah. uh, there were some girls behind us who had been in the show, like uh, watching the show like a hundred times and they had a gift for him and everything. And like, they had drawn a picture of the lady who plays Eliza. So he FaceTimed her because she couldn't make it. It was nice, it was so great. Yeah, we're gonna find some food and cry. Desperately trying to get a cab home um, because there's no way either of us are gonna walk in these shoes ever again. Um, but we stayed and waited for the second stage door and it was really great. I feel like crying in the best possible way. Now home and bed and tomorrow we'll go to Carnaby Street. Look how we've been out like far nearer to 24 hours and it's acceptable because <laughs> if we left at 5 a.m. and it's currently 12 30 a.m. that's like I can, I can make math 24 minus 5 that's 19 hours 19 hours of it's pretty decent <laughs> I picked my shoe up um, this has been a good day. Mm -hmm. I am gonna talk to you about it more later when I get my shoe off and have some have some sleeps. But um, this has been a good day. Breakfast at Oxford. Anyway. We just returned um, my boots to shush, I don't know how to say that. And now we're eating breakfast. We're gonna go to the Lazy Oak store today and probably look around Oxford Street as well. And we're excited. Yay. <laughs> We're doing awful experiments at Lush. We're having a lot of fun, but also my arm looks kind of... It's alright, we'll take it off. Can I try this one also? Yeah. I think I have that one actually. Yeah. One of my friends got it for me as a graduation present. Nice. Oh, good friend. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yes, this is my saldo for the day. Maybe it's just me being used to like Finnish people, but I feel like everyone on Oxford Street, like all of the um, sales people, are really nice. Like I had a legitimate conversation about my freaking shoes with this girl, and then she helped me get the makeup stains off my hand. <laughs> um, so um, next up, I guess Urban Outfitters, and then uh, Topshop, and then Cornaby Street.
They look like skinny jeans usually look like. But like can you like sit in them and stuff? Let me try. I mean they're not like overly comfortable, but mm. it's not like you can't breathe or anything. Yeah. And I reckon denim usually stretches a little. Because mm. I'd rather take these ones that don't like hang yeah. off the waist than the mm. ones that are like just a tiny little bit too big, especially yeah. since that, like, that's like one of my biggest pet peeves, yeah. so it's going to bother me even more than yeah. like something else. These, they have little gardens in the heels. Thing. I eat so much ginger that I'm gen like genuinely worried that I'll get I'll go intolerant. So that can happen. Yeah. That would be I know. play that goes wrong with another friend of mine and I'm so excited for this play. I mean Covent Garden by the way. Uh, we did a, a scene from that play but then we didn't ever perform it. So I'm really excited to see the whole thing. I'm just gonna write down things for my journal now and wait for Yannicka. This day has been great. I don't know what to do with happiness. Like, it just it sits in me and then I don't know how to deal with it. Oh. Friend! So we just saw um um the play that goes wrong. Um tell me what you what you thought. Uh it was amazing. <laughs> the characters were hilarious. Because there was this platform and I was so sure, I, I was looking at the platform and like can it be that it, the platform itself can, it, can be broken? and I'm like, no it can't be, so I, it, it mustn't be but then there was a scene where it actually yeah, broke it, it fell down, yeah and I or literally not. screamed okay. in the audience <laughs> and I, I, hold, I held my hand on my chest the next five minutes Travis, <laughs> Travis was my favorite character Oh my, yeah, my favorite, my favorite lines were um, I'm taking the stairs and also uh, I don't know what page we're on, mate. <laughs> Just, die. Just die. Just die already. Just die already. 
And we met some of the actors because they were uh, mm -hmm. gathering uh, funds for cancer uh, prevention research, the maybe. Yeah, cancer um, research. We're going to the tube. And, yeah. Huh? We're going to the tube? Question mark. Yeah, we are, we are going to the tube. We are going to take the tube to King's Cross Station and have coffee. Totally. Ah, uh, theater is great. <laughs> After a couple of Jackie Aina videos playing in the background and like vigorous shoving, I have managed to empty that bag, that bag, this bag, my, my um, irregular choice bag into this one, which is full to the brim, and this one. I'm very proud of myself. These two are not mine, they're Janika's. She left them when she left today. It's been a really good weekend. I have seen multiple friends. I saw Hamilton the musical. I've been hanging out in London. I do love being here. I don't. I can't really put into words, at least at this moment, when it's gazillion a.m., what it is about London. But my friend Francesco that I saw today, he is Italian, and we see each other very rarely. And he just happened to be in Britain or in the UK at the same time as I. Um, so that was fun to kind of see him spontaneously but um, he just said today that like he was like I can understand why you like London there like London suits you and I, I feel that I like there's something about London that feels very right to me so it's been a really nice weekend now I'm gonna go to bed because I need to get up relatively early because my flight leaves at like half past ten so I want to be there at half past eight the latest but I've packed now so at least I've already done the hard part good night oh, I can't wait to see you again it's only a matter of time Will they tell your story? Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Will they tell your story? Why is there always a like light shining right behind me? Heavenly interference. <laughs>